Car doors have come a long way over the last century. They're lighter for improved fuel efficiency and stronger to better withstand the force of an impact. They also now contain a lot of electrical gadgetry, like speakers and power windows, all of which enhances the daily commute. A car door is one of the first things many people reach for as they start their day. So let's unlock the mystery of how it's made. It all starts with carbon steel, an alloy that's strong yet malleable. Machinery uncoils and straightens it. A large blade slices it to the desired length, producing sheets called blanks. Then it's over to a powerful press. This particular one is a trial press, which offers a better view of the process than the one on the production line. The press forces the blank into a die, giving it the basic shape of two car doors. It's a design that's been engineered for both aerodynamics and strength. Back on the production line, the main press is churning out car doors. An automated device with fingers then grips the newly shaped steel and transfers it to a punch cutter. It separates the two doors and trims the excess metal from the edges. With the outer door panels now complete, a handler inspects them for bumps, dents or scratches. He approves only those that are absolutely flawless. The next worker arranges the window frame, a reinforcing plate for the hinge and the inner door panel, all in a special clamping fixture. Its fingers grip the parts to hold them in position as the fixture rotates and two robots move in to weld them together. At the next station, the worker arranges steel bars and tubes on a robotic platform. They add strength to the door so it will better withstand any impact. He places the inner door panel over the bars and tubes. The robotic platform angles the parts for welding. Another robot applies adhesive to the rim of the outer door panel. More robots dab adhesive at strategic locations. Those dabs match up with the tubes and bars on the inner panel as they mate it to the outer one. A special press then folds the lip of the outer panel over the inner one. This hemming gives the assembled car door a neater edge. With the inner and outer panels now joined, the car door undergoes rust proofing, paint and other protective treatments. Now over on the assembly line, a worker fits the handle into its niche and bolts it to the door from the other side. Chrome trim is clipped into place. Moving down the line, a worker installs a small fixed window in the groove of the frame. He uses a plastic protector to prevent scratches as he slides the larger window into its slot in the door and links it to the power lifting mechanism inside. He separates the two windows with a metal divider. At the next station, this car door gets an automated wing mirror. They're now ready for the inner panel and its workings. The employee wires the panel to the door and snaps it into place. He tests the power windows and they close to a tight seal, indicating a successful installation. A special elevator now lowers the completed car doors six meters to the next station. A worker unloads each door with the help of a pneumatic arm. This device shoulders the weight of the part and correctly positions the door for installation. He drives bolts into hinges to attach the door to the car. On the other side, the heavy-duty reinforcement plate surrounds the hinges and supports them. The whole weight of the door will hang on this plate as it swings open and shut. With all the panels installed, it's time for the final adjustments. They call this finessing. They examine each panel to confirm that it's flush to the rest of the car body, and they tweak the installation job where needed. Finally, they're satisfied the assembly is airtight, so it's time to close the door on this production.